Hey there, Mr. Hunter here, and today I decided to make a list that KHF hasn't done yet. As the title of the video points out, this is what I think are the top 5 most dumbest moments in Naruto. Before anyone flames me, let me just say that I like Naruto. Oh, please skip Naruto. But really, there have been times in Naruto where I just say, God, that's just stupid. Even in pre skip Naruto, which I really enjoyed. Anyways, if you can't handle someone criticizing something you like, then you can just click the back, bu back button right now. It's not that hard, you know. So anyways, let's get let's get this started. Number 5. Naruto fighting Kiyo's face in the tuning exam. This is the point when I started to have some respect for the character Naruto. But the fact that he would have gotten his ass kicked if his intestine didn't work for him is just... Oh god. Someone argued that if it was a comic comedic relief moment, it was there to give you a laugh. That's fine, you're entitled to your own opinion, but I see the that fight as Naruto proving to the other kids that he didn't suck like they think he does. And comedy should have no should have no place in a moment like that. Number four, Naruto State Training. It's not the training that I think is dumb. It's the fact that with not even not even a month of training, Naruto's on pain level. While when Naruto trained for two years with Jiraiya, and when he returned, he kind of sucked in comparison to the new villains. Hell, he didn't take down any villains by himself until the Shadow Clone training. And this was when said villain had already been in a fight with Kakashi. Number three, lightning beats earth. I'm just going to say this. Regular, ordinary rocks don't conduct electricity. They are not metals. Kishimoto, you should have tried better in school. For God's sake, that's more idiotic than Miyuri's fake organ scheme used in the Hugo Mundo arc of Bleach. Number two, Nagato resurrecting all the dead villagers after he killed them. That's just bullshit. Not only does that kill the suspense, but when someone dies, they won't come back to life. And besides, what kind of message is Kishimoto trying to convey here? Make a soul surgeon speech to someone who killed a bunch of people, and they'll come back to life? What the fuck? Seriously, it's like how they used the Dragon Balls in DV to resurrect people. And that's bullshit too. Finally, at number one, Naruto being the child of prophecy. I already did a mini rant on this, but I believe that this is the most dumbest thing in Naruto. Naruto was the, was the underdog in the beginning, the guy who most people could relate to. But really, you're not a good underdog if you're destined to do something great. Also, you're in no place to argue against destiny when you're destined to have the fate of the world on your shoulders. Well, that's my list. If you like this video, please subscribe. So with that, Mr. Hodder, signing out.